Snyder made his annual trek to Tulip Time to speak at the festival luncheon today. And 24 Hour News 8's political reporter Rick Alvin was there with the governor. And Rick joins us now in studio. Brian Sue, before the donning of his traditional costume, he joined other elected officials for that ceremonial sweeping of the streets. Governor Snyder gave an upbeat assessment of the last six years. He talked about how Holland, in particular, has been a leader with the best employment numbers in the state, as well as being a model, he says, for training skilled workers for today and the future. After he spoke to the crowd, I talked to him, and I asked him about his meeting yesterday with Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price. The governor said because of the format and time constraints, he didn't talk to the HHS chief about the recently passed health care bill and how that could impact negatively Medicaid expansion in Michigan. And that expansion now provides insurance coverage for more than 500,000 Michiganders. Remembering how hard you worked to convince Republican colleagues to pass Medicaid expansion, how concerned are you now that some of that could be on the line in this new health care bill? Yeah, I do have real concerns um, with the bill that passed the House. Um, I hope there's an opportunity in the Senate to make a number of improvements. Uh, the Affordable Care Act itself has serious problems, particularly in the insurance market. In many cases, in more states, in other states more than Michigan. But the bill that went through the House, I have serious concerns about healthy Michigan and its long-term future, about traditional Medicaid, and also about the insurance markets. The governor accurately points out that there will be a lot of opportunity to make changes in the health care bill over in the Senate. But the real question that still exists is, can the Senate come up with something that can pass in the House? And if they can, just how long might that take, Brian?